what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video you are watching my shoulder and tricep workouts and my uh, forearm workout that i did today but i actually want to talk about some different stuff and some stuff that have been really requested by you guys in the comment section on instagram and on my youtube videos so that's the topic i want to talk about and that is how to set up your own training schedule and how really you can plan that the really basics because i know a lot of you guys are still you know wanting to start out with the working out or you know are not familiar with how the training works. Obviously you can um, do a lot of different stuff, but I just wanna go over the basics and how I really set my training schedules up and how, you, how I used to do it and how I do it now. So pretty much when I began training, I just followed my friends training schedule that they had set out um it was as you all know it as the bro split so pretty much that would mean that you do uh chest and tricep on monday back and bicep on tuesday wednesday legs thursday shoulders and friday arms or something uh that would be the typical week um that you would train so that would be five days uh then i switched um after a while i trained that for like two, one two years uh maybe even a little bit longer and you know at the beginning it worked pr perfectly fine because um, you hit everything once a week and you do a lot of hypertrophy and you know you're just improving and you're just starting out so it really doesn't really matter in my opinion the first two years how you train it's more like you being consistent with training and and making sure you get your adequate protein in and you know you know stuff like that so the basics in the first two years is fine then uh, i moved to a push pull leg split and with this split i did six days a week so i would do monday push uh, Tuesday pull, Wednesday legs, and then do on Thursday push again, and then pull and legs. So I would do Monday to Saturday, I would train every single day, and on Sunday I had soccer. Yeah, so sometimes I would switch it up. I do have to mention that because obviously on Sunday I had soccer, and when I did, if I would do legs on Saturday, um, I wouldn't be able to do um, you know, play soccer because, you know, the, the fatigue is so crazy and you're going to have, <laughs> your legs are, are in so much pain the day after. So what I would pretty much do is skip the second leg day um, and then I would switch it to on a Saturday to like some accessory work or some stuff that I really feel like I'm weak on or work on some techniques or, you know, do forearms and, and, and calf raises and stuff like that. Um, to really focus on accessory movements and, you know, the little muscle groups or some abs uh, to work on on that day um, and then I kind of switched for for a while to something like a shoulder arms chest and legs and then a back and chest or something like that so really split it up so now this is what I want to talk about really in this video is that how you split it up is pretty easy you can you know you have all these different muscle groups so let's say you want to split up your muscle groups you could also do full body i'm not a big fan of that but you can also do that but it's not where we really want to talk about this video um so you have for example your chest and your back um, are two pretty big muscle groups so chest back and legs are pretty much the main muscle groups uh, obviously with shoulders um that you want to hit and i would definitely recommend you hit everything twice a week so the typical bro split maybe works in the first year but then you pretty much want to work everything twice a week so what really happens is you tear down your muscle fibers and your muscle um in your training session so let's say you train chest and triceps and you do some shoulders so a push day um, you pretty much tear those muscle fibers up and then you have 48 hours to 72 hours needed your muscle needs to recover uh, before you can train it again so you recover obviously with you know with nutrition and the protein that's where the protein comes in that's why protein is important to building muscle um, is to restore that muscle fiber um, so let's say you want to um, have you want to train chest twice a week, but you can do chest on Monday because it's always very busy. You want to do chest on Tuesday, but you can do it on Thursday because then it's really busy as well. And you can do it Friday, so you have to do it Saturday. And now you have to really start planning your um, your training schedule. Now, it's really easy to set something like this up. You just have to see when you can train what times you can train and how much time is between that's pretty much the key thing here you want you don't want to be training chest on tuesday and, and wednesday because you know you're only going to destroy your muscle and not really going to get give it time to grow so you have to understand that your your muscles grow and when you rest so uh, not when you're training that's when you do the work but when you rest you actually grow so um 
yeah, you really have to figure out your time in the week. And let's say, for example, you only want to do four times a week. Then you really have to split everything in those four week, uh, four days, and preferably with air hitting everything uh, twice a week. So then you could do like an upper lower split, where you do all the upper body things in the first day and then the lower body second day and then take a day rest because as I said, you have 48 hours to 72 hours to recover. So then for example, you could do Monday upper body and Tuesday lower body. Then on Wednesday you take rest and then maybe Thursday you take rest or you do the upper body and then the lower body again. And that's how you can split it. So the key thing here is if you wanna set up your own training split, you, can, you always have to keep in mind that um, you have 48 to 72 hours in between every single, you know, when you hit a muscle group again. Now, also, what is also really important, for example, with chest and shoulders, when you do a very heavy chest and shoulders day back to back, uh, this can also have a little bit of a problem because obviously with any push exercise, your triceps going to get involved. Uh, something of your chest is going to be involved and some of your shoulders always going to be involved with bench press that is the case um, you always have your tricep working um, with shoulder press you always have your tricep working on lockout so you you don't want to um, you don't want to plan those too close together as well um, meaning that if you do on Monday you have a very heavy chest day you plan for example a very heavy bench press day but Tuesday you want to do a very heavy military press day, you might not want to do that because when your tricep and chest are sore from the day before, it can really limit your training on Tuesday when you do shoulder. So um, you might want to not plan that back to back. Same goes kind of for bicep and back because obviously they work together as is. So if you want to split those up, I would recommend taking at least 24 hours between um, before you train it like again. Um, so if you do back on Tuesday, I wouldn't do bicep isolated, isolated bicep movements um, only on Wednesday because you've, you know, you kind of work that with back on Tuesday. So keep like a day between that. I would recommend that. Um, and then obviously for the main muscle groups, uh, 20, uh, 70, 72 hours or 48 hours in between. So it's pretty much really easy to set up. Just put it on a paper and make sure you plan it correctly with the, with the hours and uh, make sure when you do plan a heavy day with, for example, bench press or military press, um, you don't do plan that correctly. So you don't, you know, limit yourself with your shoulder training or with your chest training or vice versa. Same thing goes with if you do accessory movements like calf raises or, you know, you're really sore at calves and the next day you want to really squat really heavy. This can always also, also uh, limit, you know, your, your gains or your, you know, the amount of weight you could do with the rep range or whatever you want to do. You can't train hundred percent if you are not, 100% ready. So um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, learned something from it. Um, if you have, if you need any advice uh, on or your questions on a training split that you're currently making, or you want some, you know, someone to look at it, second opinion on it, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will check it out and answer if needed. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow I'm gonna upload a Gymshark review. I'm buying two soft boxes tomorrow, so it's gonna be really, really exciting. Um, so yeah, talk to you guys in the next video tomorrow, guys. And thank you all so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a good weekend.